Hello everyone, and welcome to Meticulous Talks in 2020, January 4th. I am Cursed Chords. And I'm Hufrock. We hope you all had a wonderful holiday season, unless you're uh, Hithrock or with him in, in Russia, in which case we hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. You are having a wonderful yeah. holiday so far, right Hithrock? Yeah, I'm having all right holidays. It's always nice to relax. Indeed. Uh, yeah, just got back from a couple of weeks off myself, and it was great. It's the first time I'd been back home in Canada in more than a year, so it was uh, great to see everybody. Anyway, 2020 is here. Time for a whole new season of Pony Cards. And that starts with uh, Van Hoover Pony Expo next week. I'm going mm -hmm. to be there. You're going to be doing the commentary, right, Hithrock? Yep. And Van Hoover, as is tradition, is going to be primarily a Harmony event. Uh, there's going to be Core there. There's going to be Hopper there as well. But the main focus is Harmony. And we have spent the last really like four or five months talking almost exclusively about core. So it seemed like a good time to mention Harmony again. Yeah, especially with the new set. Indeed. Uh, Harmony, as a function of what it is, doesn't change as much as core does every time there's a new set that comes out uh, because you don't lose cards ever. But this is still a pretty impactful set as far as Harmony is concerned. Yeah, we there are rumors that Pile is back. There are also a couple of combo decks floating around. Mm -hmm. And Aggregate also really nice with the new Photoshop. Absolutely. And uh, so, yeah, we're just going to run a quick little survey over uh, what the field is going to look like, or at least what what sort of things you might expect to pop up at Van Hoover, whether you're trying to build a deck, apologies for that, whether you're trying to build a deck to sort of play at Van Hoover, or you're just going to be watching the stream and want to know what to expect uh, to show up. And I guess let's start with the first thing that you mentioned, the return to form of sorts of the old Pile of Presence combo. Uh, super active in the olden days of Harmony until Penny Lane got banned, faded from the uh, format somewhat. Uh, now poised to be back with a vengeance. Yep. But it's still fragile to all the old things. Mm -hmm. Like immediate resource removal. And there is a fair amount of that around now. Yep. There's Beavers, there's Mysterious Disappearance, Rest on Pieces, and there's Sonic Rainboom to make any resource removal immediate. Hmm. For those of you who perhaps weren't around in the olden days when Pile of Presence was uh, active, uh, the deck essentially revolves around uh, the card, Pile of Presence, Crystal Games, which uh, says that whenever your opponent draws three or more cards during their main phase, you get to score points. Uh, and then it's four or more cards. Four or more cards. My apologies. Thank you. That's right. Uh, and then you rely on a variety of tricks uh, to force your opponent to draw cards during the main phase. Uh, in the olden days, and still, you had Every Pony Shuffling from Canterlot Knights, the pink ultra rare DJ. And now, with Sonic Rainboom, we can use the prize party event from Celestial Solstice that uh, makes your opponent draw six cards, I think? Yep. Uh, both players shuffle their hands and draw six cards. Mm -hmm. uh, so this scores you a lot of points and also shuffles your opponent's hand uh, so that it had a pretty good control for a uh, feel to it as well. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like every pony shuffling, but instead of four cards, it's... Uh... Six cards, which is much better. Yeah. 
but as mentioned, yes, the, the, the biggest crux of the deck has always been file itself. Uh, as soon as it's out, you know, the opponent will be forced to play it, has to play it during their main phase. You've got a couple of priority windows to get rid of it before their before it's your main phase, essentially. And so immediate speed resource removal is pretty much what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that after you play surprise party, the opponent will draw a new hand that they might draw immediate resource removal. Mm -hmm. So there's a risk there. Uh, it was also a risk like before with every pony shuffling because it, it does exactly the same. Uh, but now another thing is is that new pile can use headmare to copy every uh, surprise party. And if they do that, you don't have a priority window between both of those processes. Yeah. So it just happens. You have to remove headmare. Mm -hmm. So yeah, play against pile is essentially a matter of understanding what the major threats are and uh, doing your best to make sure that you've got an answer for them. Mm -hmm. And we know, well, this is one of the decks we have a little bit of intel to know that th there's a very, very good chance we'll be seeing some of it next week. Yeah. I hope we'll see some of it. It'll be fun. Yeah, it, it's always fun to see things uh, come back and have their time in the spotlight again. And, you know, I don't think the pile will be anywhere near as oppressive as it was back in the day. Yeah. Especially with all the immediate resource removal, which mm -hmm. if you pack enough of it in your deck, you just destroy pile. It doesn't have a way to round that. Mm -hmm. And as we were mentioning last last rotation from core, yellow is just kind of got all of that. And mm -hmm. there are a variety of other reasons why it's worth it to ru consider running yellow anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, moving on from Pile, uh, we spent a fair amount of time last week, well, eh, like five or six minutes, but we've uh, we've talked about it before, uh, you know, your combo deck, the Teamwork Chrysalis combo. Yep. So, probably not worth spending too much time on it now. Yeah, it's been touched on. Yeah. Uh, functionally... If you want to hear about it again, just play against it next week. Yeah, essentially. Uh, I can say that I'm going to be bringing it. And, well, hopefully seeing what I can do. But as with as with a lot of combo decks, the answers are functionally the same. Unless you don't want me talking about the answers. If you're like... I mean, friend removal. It's like the answer to 90% of combo decks out there. Mm -hmm. Unless they play EEA, in which case there are there are no answers. Well, there's always jerk face. Oh yeah, that's true. That card, but I mean, if you're playing blue, you're probably around that card in, card in harmony anyway. It's true. All right. Um. Maybe you know a little bit more about harmony than than, than I. Is is, is that uh, there are other combos out there, right? Hmm. Well, I don't know any of that people would actually run this time around. Like, maybe someone will bring something and I'm just not aware of it. But by eating contest is still there. It was never actually dealt with. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't, like, oppressive enough, I guess. But it's, like, it's a thing that you can still do in Harmony, just like before. Uh, but I don't think it got any tools with new sets. It's uh, pretty much exactly the same as it used to be. That sounds about right. Fighting contest was the single face-off. Wait, sorry, that was the one that took place entirely inside a face-off, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you basically have Trender Hoof with unique stuff, and another Trender Hoof which has teamwork bring things back for one eighty, and you play a bunch of burst of speeds during face-off. Right. And for a win condition, you just mill your opponent to death. Well, not to death. We're not magic, but uh, 
to basically you leave them without hand, without yeah. field, and without deck, which essentially means you lost the yeah. build to impotence, not to death. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see. Obviously, one of four point three doesn't exist anymore. The, nope. uh, the rules got changed to stop it from happening. So that. I mean, there are always, yeah. Uh, yeah. There, uh, well, I've I've never fully understood it, but there was always some old combos with Applejack Apple Vendor that I think are still around. Yeah. I mean, Apple Vendor can do a lot of things, especially with his juggling routine. Yeah. Like uh, the. Setting Moon and uh, the Celestia, I don't remember her subtitle, but Celestia and Luna from Celestial Saltist always go together. It's, it's, it's Rising Sun. Yeah, it's Rising Sun. There we go. They, you just said they go together. Of course it's Rising <laughs> But yes. Uh... But yeah, that, that's a thing. But like, I don't think people will run it, but it's, it exists. A lot of things can happen in Harmony. I think most of the players will not be playing combo, though. Possible. Um, what do you think most of them will be playing? Well, so let's remember that Portal is still not banned in Harmony. Mm -hmm. And all the things we can derive from that. I believe old money is still banned in Harmony, but other than old money, we have other things still. So something like pink, uh, white, purple, I think is still quite viable. Mm -hmm. uh, that's for a control deck. Uh, I think we'll see farm because it's harmony. Of course, we'll see farm. Of course, we'll see farm. Yes, probably blue. Uh, I mean, blue is an option, but there's also orange. Mod didn't go anywhere. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen a mod farming deck. Uh, I think... I remember the last, like... Was it at Babscon last year? Last year at some convention, there was a Harmony tournament, and uh, people were running mod farm. That's the last time I saw it, I think. I think it was Babscon. It's either Babs Babscon or Ever Free, one of those. <laughs> right. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um... I just don't remember it. It was orange blue. Right. So yeah, it is still blue in a sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh another thing is that uh Burn Pose really likes his bubbly mare deck. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if he will run it though. He might just run pile instead, but someone else might run it. We'll mm -hmm. see. I mean uh, the he, told yeah. me, he, he certainly assured me it was going to be Pile, but, well, that, that was before Foley Mare came along, so always a possibility. Yeah, so last time I told to him, he was undecided still, and that Bubbly Mare deck is, like, designed to be annoying for everyone. <laughs> Naturally, yeah. I mean, that uh, he's always been one of the most powerful mains that, well, just needed a better flip condition. Mm-hmm. And it's good against combo, so it is a consideration to include one copy of Banker Vocals just against Bubbly Mare or Easy Spy, one of those. Right. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Clever back to start. Like that, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, Bubbly Mare deck relies on Banker Vocals, right? Yeah. I, I, well, yeah. it it doesn't like you can still bu flip bubbly mare regular way, but yeah, the main thing is that it can flip bubbly mare on turn one. Uh, but the main because uh, with back ball. Uh, oh right, yeah, yeah. Thing the starting problem. Man, but, uh, the, that's um? actually true. I, I, yeah, I, I, I had never actually seen Grandpa's list. Um, back ball. Eesh. Yeah, I haven't was... seen it, but uh, I think I saw him link it once, but I wasn't like really looking into it. 
Right. Uh, but uh, there was uh, he played it against me, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I once upon a time I, I tried to make that work, and that was always the problem that you needed to have both backup vocals and some form of requirement fixing in 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 your opening hand. So yeah, that makes sense. And then you you only have to draw backup vocals now. Mm -hmm. If you have it in your starting hand, you can flip on turn two. So yeah, that's pretty good. But as far as combo decks are concerned, uh, if they run backup vocals themselves, I don't think they care that much because they just flip your back and do their thing. It just increases the cost by 480. Or 5 if you don't run yellow in your combo. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like during the rest of the game, the bubble image effect is not relevant because combo doesn't play cards for the rest of the game. Or doesn't play more than one. <laughs> I thought that Daga Vocals were a little. Oh, yeah, just turn a main character over, yep. Mm hmm. The problem is, of course, is that you have to play your barrel first, and you can't play it second time, I think. There was like some stumbling block is that entering yellow sometimes can be hard because you can't play more than one resource. Right, yeah, because back of vocals. Or, uh, yeah, bubbly mare. Uh, bubbly mare, yeah. Yeah, so that's a thing. And another thing is that at least runs mimics, and it can tax your barrels too. Mm. And, ooh. Yeah, it, it gets quite annoying quite fast. <laughs> it, it That sounds like proper prison control, essentially, which is... Yeah. It's harmony, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So there's that. Uh, we t we uh, talked about farming already. Um, yeah. I guess we would be remiss if not to mention the deck that was the number one Harmony deck last year, uh, the Poppy, Poppy. Um, Aggro... What, sorry, what, what did he call it? Aggro Control Combo? The sure, let's go with from that. The, primer. <laughs> the only thing it doesn't farm, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't farm. But it can do just about any, just about anything else. Uh, but yeah, for those paying attention last year or not, uh, Poppy. It's a shame we don't have pages here today. Poppy uh, is a deck filled up with a bunch of random stuff that kind of also does good things, even if you don't guess it right. Essentially, uh, cards like Party Mare, um, even Spyglass to a lesser extent. Yeah, even without C Poppy, it's a viable deck. And C Poppy just enhances it. Yeah. So, you know, pack some removal uh, for the Poppy, but you know, still got to play an aggro match versus it anyway. Mm hmm. Now, the more I've started to think about it, the more I started to wonder if maybe, like, it's it feels like you can counter most of the meta. Uh, by playing like yellow, pink, and then splashing a little blue for your uneven ground and playing some kind of aggro. Maybe. So the thing with pink yellow is that I can see the Royal Guard deck being viable in Harmony, mm. like the one we have in core right now. Yeah. And I don't think yellow pink has a proper way of dealing with that. Because there is no mass removal in those colors, other than Fleeter, I guess. Yeah. And Fleeter doesn't work. Uh, there's Party of One, but uh, I guess there's Party Bomb. You can Party Bomb them. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that works. Yeah, I guess Party Bomb would be the answer. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, even so, this deck, like, already... It would be pretty... You know, it's, it's it's not something I can throw together right now because it needs to be pretty tuned to have your answer to this and your answer to that and your answer to this and still have a nice aggro core to it to be able to just yeah. outrace other decks. Yeah, especially farm. Mm -hmm. I think Pink Yellow doesn't have many ways to deal with farm. T with Discord, I guess. Uh, yeah. And just Dark geese are general, pretty good. Yeah, your general troublemaker hate in yellow. 
Yeah, but the thing against farm is that it has to be like an immediate hate most mm -hmm. of the time. Yeah. Because what usually happens, they flip their farm and there's no troublemaker anymore. Right. And I guess that's worth pointing out, is that if you don't want to run all the specific uh, hate cards out there, you can always just go fast. Uh, that has been a reliable strategy in Harmony for a long time, too. Mm-hmm. And there's some speedy stuff out there. Everyone who's uh, still sad that Luna rotated, she's, she's, she's in Harmony still. Yeah, I can see people playing like something like Hot Wings with just new stuff. Or maybe Purple Blue. Good old fashioned purple. Well, no, Purple Blue is not old fashioned at all. Um, it is, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's it it was great last year, and go to Harmony, put the better cards in, and should do good here too. I think, yeah. Mhm. Mm uh what else is there? I guess uh, there's fireworks combo. That's still a thing, right? Yeah. Uh, bugle. I deck. think. Sorry. If we'll see fireworks combo. It'll be bugle running probably. Yeah, that was I. I would agree. And I don't know if bugle will run that. Maybe he will. He really likes his that deck. And like I know when when I like a deck, I play it. Mm -hmm. But that that is kind of the story of harmony. Uh, people who really like decks and kept on playing them. Mm-hmm. And that is certainly one of the things that seems like it defines Harmony to me, is that like, if you look at the breadth of decks out there, there are a lot of them that are relying on unconventional methods to, uh, to well, I mean, they're all trying to score 15 points. That's the only way to win. But um, some of them are trying to mill you out. Some of them are trying to set up the big giant controls. Some of them are uh, trying to hit off their combo. There aren't that many decks in Harmony, it, it seems, that are... Uh, just trying to confront problems and win face-offs. Yeah. Well, I guess there are like still aggro decks, mm -hmm. but other than like pure aggro decks, all of them have some ways to score points unconventionally. For control, it's missed mains. For farm, well, farm is all about not confronting, but well, farm still confronts, but that's not the point of farm. And combo is combo. Hmm. Even C Poppy being like aggro still does the poppy thing. Because I do think C Poppy is still like mainly an aggro deck with some things splashed in. Oh yeah, yeah, I I, I absolutely agree. I think it it's it just means that um Harmony is probably gonna be a very interesting format to watch, uh, because the games are going to be unusual. There's going to be mm -hmm. lots of stuff happening that doesn't happen in your usual Cory match. Uh, we'll have to play around stuff that just doesn't exist in core, basically. Yeah. Like Destiny Drake. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want that card in core. I will drain all of the Middlebrooks, all of them. Yeah. I mean, that's... For what it's worth, Middlebrook's probably going to be making an appearance in Harmony, too. Oh, uh, yeah. When talking about Mimics, it's still a thing. Farm is a thing, yes. Yeah, Mimics, Farm, like, resources are a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Pile. Though, I guess, Middlebrook is not particularly useful against Pile, specifically. It can happen. Yeah, you'd have to portal her. Yeah, you can portal her. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually interesting. Like, if you run something like Pegasus Royal Guard deck, right? Mm -hmm. You're yellow purple, so you might run portal and middle brooks at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because you need it against file, that's reasonable consideration. Yeah, but like portal is also useful for Pegasus Royal Guards with some. 
themselves, you can portal them to, mm-hmm. or not them, but like any friend that will be the third en- friend entering play. So I, th- I think I think if you run Pegasus Royal Guard uh, combo in Harmony, you probably run Portal. Oh, absolutely. I I would be surprised to see any purple deck in uh, Harmony not running Portal, honestly. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> So, um, we've talked about aggro, we talked about farm, combo. Is there any archetype we're missing here? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Uh, um, like, basically, four archetypes in this game. And I think we've touched on all of them. True enough, that, yes. Um, so yeah, uh, and like I said, expect Harmony to be a real, uh, interesting time. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what decks we'll see, because like, yeah, we know that there'll be like archetypes and some things, and, uh, for instance, farm, I don't think much, farm won't change much, because except for Grogor, it didn't get that many new tools and new set. You're talking but, about uh, Grogar Villain, of course, right? Yes. Yeah. And like, I expect to see, if someone runs farm, what I expect to see is your good old farm deck, except with Grogars in it. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, and not much else. That is an achievement of its own. Farm was kind of legendary for not changing at all over the course of the years that it existed. Yeah. <laughs> we got a card that goes in farm, finally. Just another epic. But yeah, but it also goes into a lot of other decks. You know, here's my here's my take for Harmony uh, for Vancouver. We'll see more Grogers than we'll see Sticks. Wow. Now, I, I, I was about to ask you, you know, given that Grogar is considered the card that goes in everything in core, uh, how much you expected it to penetrate harmony, and that 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 probably answers the question right there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we'll see more Grogers and sticks. I'm not sure. Well, that depends. Like, if everyone for some reason runs aggro, then my statement might not be as correct. Right. But I think in aggro you might still want to run Grogers sometimes. But I don't think everyone will be playing aggro, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you know, at least one person that's not. Yeah. <laughs> and the, and that deck has a Grogar, but not a stick, right? Exactly. Yeah. It does have a Grogar. Uh, another thing is... So it does have a Grogar. The Bubbly Mare deck also has Grogars in it. I'm somewhat sure. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Uh, and like any farming deck obviously runs Grogars. And I think any control, decks on, control deck wants to run Grogars. Any, mm-hmm. Because it's 180... Frighten. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good in many decks. Yeah. Uh, as far as villains go, uh, he can substitute for what most of them are attempting to do, with the exception, essentially, of Nightmare Moon. Yeah, but he can be Nightmare Moon. It's mm-hmm. just delayed. That's the thing, right? Yeah. I mean, you would. It's Nightmare Moon on demand, which is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Dex will run it as an extra copy of Nightmare Moon. Probably Mayor for sure as an extra copy of Mimics and also being a Grogar, I'm sure. I, okay, to clarify. Not an, not an extra copy, just a way to find it. Yeah. And Bubbly Mayor would want to run it as an extra copy, a way to find Nightmare Moon too. Mm-hmm. Because who doesn't love running Nightmare Moon in uh, Harmony? Yeah, I, I suppose that's another thing to say for any of you out there who... Don't remember the olden days of Harmony. Uh, Nightmare Moon is still out there. She was one of the best cards ever in in Harmony. It is. Yeah, there's still no other card that does what she does. So, so is going to get played. Yeah. Well, we do now have Pinky Sense, which really helps against Nightmare Moon. Yes. And I think if you're playing Pink in Harmony, you run Pinky Sense if you want it or not, because of Nightmare Moon. 
Yeah. And because it's just a good card in general, not only for Nightmare Moon, but a lot of decks run Nightmare Moon and Harmony, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And so, so my point here was with farm is that so while farm doesn't change much, other decks probably will. And uh, it will be interesting to see what maybe new decks Leaders of Legends has allowed in Harmony and maybe how the other decks will change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I uh, mentioned it off, off the top of the stream that Harmony, by virtue of the way that it's built, doesn't change all that much set to set, but to some extent that make, means the changes that do happen are all the more interesting. Mm -hmm. Of course there's like the combo decks which we talked about, but outside of that, it's still interesting to see what people come up with. Yep. With so many cards to choose from, there's almost no way to predict what you're going to see at a, at a Harmony tournament generally. You know, last year, Poppy just kind of came out of nowhere and was the best mm -hmm. thing for so long. We'll see if that will change. I don't know. It it is a uh, home field advantage for uh, for Poppy. <laughs> yeah, but new decks have the new cards advantage. Uh huh. That's true. I guess Poppy will run new things too. I would bet Poppy also loves Pinky Sense. Well, given that, as as you mentioned, it's a great counter to Nightmare Moon, and Nightmare Moon's gonna be a thing. It yeah. If yeah. you're if, if you're Poppy runs deck, Nightmare Moon by itself, so. Yeah. Playing Pinky Sense and Nightmare Moon at the same time is really good. Yeah. The challenge of Nightmare Moon was always a way to uh, make sure that didn't hurt you as bad as the opponent, and Sense fixes that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So. Yeah. All right. Well, relatively short one this week. We're both getting yeah. back from holidays, but uh, I think we've surveyed everything pretty well. Yeah. Next step is to see the results uh, next week. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, two weeks on. Well, yeah. The tournament's next week. Two weeks on, we'll be looking at the results and see how right slash wrong we were. I guess I'll have to make a note to, to count the sticks versus the Grogars, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, yes. Next week, I'll be in Vancouver on the floor, and Hithrock will be on the air. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. The, the the schedule for that went up a couple of days ago. But are, 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 are you going to be doing the commentary, like, all the time, or just the Harmony tournament, or what? I think it will be just the Harmony tournament. Okay. Uh, let me check. Yeah. For those who haven't uh, seen it, it's going to be, I think it's going to be, right, the Cube is on Friday, and then there was a Popper event and the Harmony on the Saturday, and then Core on the Sunday, I believe. Uh, it says sealed on Sunday. Okay. When was the Core? There was Core at some point. Uh, there's Popper, but no Core. Okay. Or I... Yeah, but it's popper. Do you want a nice popper combo deck? It's <laughs> I can be up with. <laughs> uh, where did... Oh, there's no core. Oh, what I was looking at. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, popper is happening. If if you've got one to share, go ahead. Ah, uh, let me find it. I was surprised to see that. I've not thought about Popper at all since. Well, oof, jeez, I can't even remember. So I have to scrape something together uh, over the course of the next week. I guess this deck will have to be updated for the new cards, though, because I think it's Prey Friends Forever deck. It's that old, mm. but it's pretty good. Like. We've tested it, and it hasn't lost a single time, so we'll... Maybe you will be the reason for a juggling routine ban. 
because it does use that a lot. Oh, you want me to do two of your combo decks for well, North America? Well, if you want to. It's up to you. Well, I, I just you... said I, I, I need a deck still. Don't have a proper deck, that's the thing. It needs to be updated for, for new cards, though. Maybe it's not as good now because of the new cards. But as I said, it's uh, pre Friends Forever. Uh, this deck is like two years old or something. Uh, let me put this up so people can actually see what I'm looking at. It's a very simple deck. It has a little story behind it. Uh, like a while back, like a year and a half ago, I think it was. Let me actually check the exact date. It was in October last year, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Grandpa was like advertising Popper and was trying to build decks for it. Oh, and I remember I that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't have a single Popper deck and. Once in Slack, he writes like, oh, does anyone want to play Popper with me? And I ask him, are there any combo decks in Popper? He said, like, well, none of the good ones. Like, Popper doesn't really let you do combos in it. And I said, okay, sure, give me, like, 30 minutes and I can play against you. And then I thought, what should I play? And then I see that all of the showdowns are uncommon. So it's Jacqueline routine. So is all the rest of the good stuff. So I thought, like, yeah, it's like this cards being uncommon just call for me. Like, I have to run them in Popper if I can. And that's how this deck was born. The idea is super simple. You just draw your entire deck, and then you filter your discard pile with smart cooking, leaving only showdowns, and then you just play showdowns on the studio's friend and uh, drag your routine it back, and then play more shutdowns until you have enough AT to win the game. Well, points. Uh, you score points from Fashion fashion Week. Mm -hmm. I remember this, yeah. Yeah, it's it's super simple, like, the way it works. It's uh, very straightforward in what it does. And as it turns out, there aren't a lot of answers to this in uh, Popper. Like, uh, Magical Misfire is a rare. A lot of good immediate removal is rare. Pink still has some immediate removal, but this deck can, like, recover from that still. I guess now we have the Celestia, which can banish events uh, from the discard pile. Is she also? I thought she was a rare, too. Is she a rare? Let me check. If she's a rare, that's perfect. Uh, cleaning up is also rare. Can't run Mist Main in this format. Uh, oh, Portal, no. uh, yeah. No, she's so DS common, yeah. Yeah, so she's an option now, but she can only banish one card, and you can remove her in advance. Mm -hmm. And against like re friend removal, there's Brian here, which also works nicely. And like the only option back then this deck was built, the only option to deal with it was Portal Detectors, which is no one is going to run. <laughs> a Portal Detectors is uh, you exhaust the card. When a card enters a discard pile, you may exhaust this card to banish that card instead. I think it's something like that. Right. But yeah, this is the deck. It's 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 quite all right. It's quite. Surprising how fast you can go through your entire deck. Well, yes. If you build a deck specifically for it, it uh, tends to go pretty quickly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I've played this against, like, strong yellow aggro in Popper and some other aggro decks, and they couldn't keep up. This was too fast for them. And I played this against control decks. And, oh, also, this can't be taxed with Mimics because Mimics are also rare. Mm. So many good things are rare. Like w once you start actually thinking about popper decks, you realize how many good things are rare. I read this whole stream talking about harmony, and it turns out popper is actually the hotbed for a combo. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Yeah, this deck has been in for a while, but if you'll dominate popper, I'm pretty sure juggling routine will get banned. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't have a deck to, uh, to my own name, so since I'm already playing one of yours, may as well. Seems like Anamoy played this deck at some popper event. Mm -hmm. So maybe he can share his experiences somewhere. Or maybe he was running some other combo decks. Because I know there are others that exist in popper. But they're more they're less straightforward. They like require a lot of a lot more things to go right. And this one is very simple in how it works. So yeah, a thing. Alrighty. Well as your uh tiny little review of at least again, one deck in the popper tournament. Honestly, the popper tournament is probably gonna be Another great thing to watch, uh, and let me see where it was it was going to. Uh, it is going to be Friday, right? Uh, Popper is Saturday. on, yeah, Saturday, Saturday morning. Um, for times are local, right? They should be. It'd okay. Be weird if they weren't. Yeah. So Saturday morning. Or wait, well, yeah, Saturday morning on the West Coast is actually Saturday afternoon on the East Coast. And uh, for you, what is that going to be? Evening? I'll figure out time times when we, we get to them. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be staying up like all night for this, I think. Yeah, that's how it usually is with all of the tournaments I'm commentating. Well, so long as you're okay with it, I guess. I mean, you say that, but you also were staying up for Galacon, weren't it's, you? It, it's true. True, I was. Ah, okay. Apparently, Animoy had a slightly different uh, studious. Yeah, so after the fact, uh, when this deck was published, Bugle pointed out that there's a 180 studios friend. <laughs> and. Since I wasn't aware of, it ex of its existence, when I built this deck, it uses 280 Studios Friend. Just 180 difference can be important. There's always situations there's like, oh, I wish I had one more 80. Yes. Uh, so you're definitely preaching to the choir in this game, saying yeah. 180 can be important. <laughs> So yeah, so using that friend is better, yeah. Because it, it is exactly the same, except it costs one less. I think it's also white. It might be white, not purple. Uh, but that's not really relevant here, because you'll be entering your colors with barrel anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, as, as, as we said, this deck will obviously get... Uh... Changed up a little bit, updated for the new sets. Probably not yeah. too much, but yeah, I think like something like pink sense might be good here. They are pink, and that's that's all you really need to know. So yeah, pink mm -hmm. sense does sound good. Alrighty, well, tiny little popper preview, but uh, otherwise. That brings us to the end of everything I wanted to get to. Mm -hmm. So, as said, uh, two weeks from now we'll be going over results. I guess we'll probably probably touch on the proper results in that stream too. Why not? Yeah. And uh, otherwise, thanks again for joining us. Hope you enjoyed your holidays. Hope you're having a great 2020 so far. Uh, and uh, I've been Curse Accords. I've been Hifrock. And we'll see you in a fortnight. Yeah.